and uh, that point prime minister while speaking first he remembered his old friend Shinzo Abe Maruf Raza is also with us on the phone line Maruf it's a somber event it's a, a state uh, funeral that is being accorded to Shinzo Abe Shinzo Abe was a friend of India and a personal friend of prime minister Modi he is really instrumental in turning things around in a big way in indo japan relations in getting japanese investments into india he is also known by a uh, nickname as quad father that means the man who initiated the idea of quad and gave it a big push his funeral is being attended by many high ranking dignitaries and comes a week after the queen's funeral but the interesting thing is that the chinese have sent a low ranking minister to attend his funeral quite clearly the chinese never thought highly of him or of japan they have a long standing enmity and more recently the chinese saw as an impediment to their agenda in asia mr abe is also as a mixed uh, uh, reputation in japan because many people in japan see him for militarizing japan in a way that the japanese at least half the population is not in favor of and therefore lots of people in japan are not favorably given to giving him a state funeral which was only once given in the past to a former dignitary in from public life state funerals in japan are restricted to the royal family also the fact that japan sees him responsible for trying to alter their constitution a constitution which gives up the right to war and military activity so therefore the japanese were not too happy with him trying to turn things around for japan but more importantly he has carved out a strategic space in india's thinking and that for he was given a state uh, one day of state mourning by india which is a rarity that india doesn't do it for prime ministers of other country and the fact that mr abe was above all else a very close friend of mr modi that's why mr modi is himself there for his funeral and he is also going to take the opportunity obviously to build up on indo japanese ties japan has made serious investments in india and is likely to give india the necessary funds to counter china's belt and road initiative back to you absolutely because uh, maruf their friendship goes back as far as uh, prime minister modi and uh, shinzo abe is concerned long back to uh, 2014 uh, that was the visit of shinzo abe to india and the first chapter of uh, the modi abe friendship that set the foundation of india japan deepened ties absolutely uh, india japan ties now are on a strong wicket and uh, successive prime ministers in japan see india as one country where they can continue to engage with and make investments in so as japan's economy is not growing as rapidly as india's but also the japanese want to do everything they can to ensure that the chinese receive some kind of a a, a counter to their belt and road initiative which is all around india and is obviously trying to dominate asia and even parts of europe and africa Japan and India are also looking at many initiatives in Africa because Africa is another country where India has opened close to 28 embassies and consulates so India is keen to enhance its relationship there but the funding for such initiatives will have to come from a partner like Japan which has in the past built up countries and their economies like Southeast Asia Japan was the one that made Southeast Asian tigers the way they are so india cannot miss out on the opportunity of getting japan to do the same for india uh, not that india is in a bad way economically but there are leaps and bounds that we need to become a developed country and japan could be one major partner for there a silent contributor in so many ways without asking for much from india unlike america and other countries that every engagement with india is linked to what will india do for them 
Absolutely. And uh, Maruf, India has also greatly benefited from that, in fact, uh, when it comes to the friendship and the bond that was shared beyond uh, uh, mere just optics, if we talk about. I mean, especially when it comes to the Indo-Japan nuclear deal that was still in uncertain, uh, when it comes to uh, Shinzo Abe initiating the quadrilateral security dialogue or the quad that also happened in 2007. Shinzo Abe has been credited for deepening India-Japan ties as well. We are told that even today, our Prime Minister Modi will also be holding certain bilaterals with the current Prime Minister. Yes, uh, Japan is another country that India is doing the 2.2, 2 plus 2 engagement with, which means the two foreign ministers with their two foreign and defence ministers will be engaging. And uh, earlier, this initiative started with the Americans. But now Japan is very much a part of India's strategic partnership in a way that India does not have with more than 20 other countries that it has strategic partnerships with. Absolutely, because uh, Shinzo Abe, who has been credited with deepening India-Japan ties to a new high, and uh, when he stepped down, Maruf, he's been one of the longest-serving prime ministers there in the country of Japan. Of course, uh, health issues were cited, uh, but in fact, he was still very much active. I mean, in the day, on the 8th of July, when the assassination attempt had happened, he was still uh, being a part of the election campaign. Yes, uh, you know, as I said earlier, that, you know, his, he has a mixed reputation because for many Japanese, he was still not very popular, uh, whereas one saw him as part of the strong right, the other saw him as somebody who was taking Japan back to its military path, which Japan had been ready to abandon after the constitution that was imposed on Japan after World War II by the Americans. But Maruf, the killing of Shinzo Abe had shocked many. I mean, this was very unlikely to see such kind of an attempt that is happening there in Japan. Uh, that also someone got hold of weapons. But uh, what importantly, what is being said that it was uh, a more of a homemade weapon that was used to target uh, the former prime minister there. This is something that has been unheard of as an assassination attempt on a uh, former Japanese prime minister. Yes, it's very unusual. Uh, the only other... Uh, attack on Japanese civil society was uh, by a group that resorted to the use of serene gas in the metros of Japan. And uh, Japan has been spending a lot on internal security, but strangely, when it has to happen, it has to happen. What can you do? Absolutely. So those uh, pictures there that are coming in as uh, the state funeral of the former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is now taking place. Somber event there as uh, the wife of Shinzo Abe could also be seen holding the urn as she earlier had left for the venue and she's now there being a part of uh, what is being said over 100 representatives from different countries who are uh, participating in this uh, state funeral. But also, uh, Maruf, you can talk about how the importance really was of Shinzo Abe in the politics of Japan. As you mentioned, the second such leader uh, to be accorded a state funeral after World War II. Shinzo Abe, uh, 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 to make a strategic shift. And that strategic shift comes in many forms. Uh, we in India... All right, so the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who's also there remembering his old friend Shinzo Abe, in fact, India had also announced a day-long mourning there uh, when the attack had happened and uh, how Shinzo Abe had uh, succumbed to his injuries when the assassination attempt happened in the city of Nara while he was on an election campaign. And uh, the Prime Minister had also mentioned that he will be participating in the state funeral there. The picture is also coming in. As uh, the entire world is uh, now bidding farewell to the former Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe, a tall leader there, as also has India benefited greatly from the friendship that has been shared between India and uh, Japan. Uh, Shinzo, if you can delve deeper into that, because uh, when it comes to India also benefiting out of the friendship and how the bond has deepened, especially with the friendship that has been shared between Shinzo Abe and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Undoubtedly, I mean, if you start with uh, even a small thing, in comparison to the broader, deeper friendship, look at the states that go from Gujarat to Mumbai, 
And that would not have been part for Shinzo Abe and Narendra Modi. That was one of the first things that was planned by Prime Minister and uh, Prime Ministers Abe and Modi. And this is something that will be so major for India. You will have the bullet train in India because of Prime Minister Abe and Prime Minister Modi. Apart from that, both both Prime Ministers had a view. They felt that you cannot have between these two countries. It had to be a bigger relationship. It had to be a strategic relationship. It had to be a political relationship. It had to be a diplomatic relationship. And it had to be a military That is the major issue here. And as a result of that, you had, uh, let's say, the Malabar exercise. The Malabar exercise is like the biggest moment of Japan and India and America and Australia when it comes from a military naval exercise. Now that naval exercise happens every year and Japan and India take part in that exercise along with America and uh, Australia. Then you look at the Quad, which is really a political meeting, a strategic meeting. Again, as far as the Quad is concerned, there are the same four countries. And they work together on various issues. Again, as far as Japan and India are concerned, this has happened in the Modi era. It has happened in the Shinzo Abe era. And this closeness also was a result of the friendship between the two leaders. Now, if you look at who Prime Minister Narendra Modi's friends were and are amongst top leaders, uh, Shinzo Abe was certainly one of them. Yes, Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor, was a close friend uh, and remains a close friend. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu is also a close friend. So there are several that really see that Tito Abe was a close friend. We have to say that Boris Johnson towards the end is also uh, very close. But Shinzo Abe was unmistakably a very close friend. And as a result of that, this economic friendship between the two countries, this economic partnership flowered and flowered into further things, as I said, a political relationship, a strategic relationship. Because both Japan and India are affected by one. And the problem there is, uh, is something that both countries face in different ways, which is, in a sense, China. Now, the rise of China, the aggression that China emanates, is something that has affected both countries. It has affected Japan, it has affected India, and it, it has affected common friends of Japan and India, whether it's the Philippines, whether it's South Korea, or whether it's, um, it's Vietnam. A lot of countries have been affected by this problem. Now, as a start, it brought the two countries even closer. It brought Modi and Abe even closer. Because both thought China as an adversary, a problem in the future for their countries. And both countries realized that they would have to work together to face China. And they would have to work together along with other countries. Like Vietnam, like South, Korea, like South Korea, and so on. Now, this really is the important stuff as China and Japan are concerned. Because at the end of the day, it is important for both countries to work together. It is important for both countries to continue to work together in the way that Abe and Modi work. Now, luckily and fortunately, um, Absolutely. Right now, there are certain clippings that are being played and that uh, state funeral to the former Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe, as uh, Prime Minister Modi can also be seen amongst those uh, at least 20 heads of states who are participating and who are present as uh, uh, even when it comes to Prime Minister Modi, he had been saying that he would be paying his last respects to Shinzo Abe, who had remembered as a dear friend and a great champion of India-Japan friendship. And uh, just before the state funeral, the Prime Minister also met with his Japanese counterpart and in a brief meeting had said that uh, today we are meeting in this hour of sorrow. The last time I came, I had a long conversation with the former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. India is missing Shinzo Abe and remembering him and Japan. And I have faith 
that under your leadership, India-Japan relations will deepen and scale new heights, and we will be able to play an appropriate role in solving the problems of the world. That is uh, what Prime Minister had said in that brief meeting with his Japanese counterpart just before the funeral services began. And uh, that is what is being said, Shrinjoy, uh, because uh, when on the 8th of July, when Shinzo Abe's death was confirmed, Prime Minister Modi had prayed uh, heartfelt tributes and he had said, one of my dearest friends, Shinzo Abe. Yes, there's no doubt about that. Shinzo Abe was actually one of his dearest friends, as I was mentioning, along with perhaps Benjamin Netanyahu and uh, Angela Merkel, most certainly, and towards the end, Boris Johnson. Uh, certainly, there were all close friends and uh, he will be missing uh, Shinzo Abe. He will be remembering his meetings with Shinzo Abe. He will be re uh, remembering the time Shinzo Abe was in India. He will be remembering the time when he and Shinzo Abe had met in uh, Japan, in Tokyo. All those things would be remembered. In fact, Shinzo Abe wants to to his, uh, uh, to his place of birth, where the places where he grew up. Uh, Abe has been to Gujarat. So all these things, will probably be in Prime Minister's mind uh, as he is attending the meeting because they have met many times and perhaps at least on two occasions Abe has been here on two occasions Modi has been in Japan they have met at multilateral forums they have been on the phone they have been close friends in a way that heads of government can be of friendly countries and they have gone further than that because they have yes, all right, so that is the statement the being accorded uh, to the former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, Prime Minister Modi there also present. Shinzo, thank you very much for the moment.